Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another Stories with Ori here. Folks, yeah, you ski. I'm out here in my swimming pool today. Uh, it's sun. I didn't want to sit in the apartment. I'm going to get out, take my walk soon, okay? But I'm going to give you some updates. The comments I'm getting on P. Diddy are enormous. Now, if you folks really follow and seriously everything, you're going to see where a lot of executives from record companies are resigning. Yes, they are resigning, folks. You're going to be seeing so much stuff coming out on Diddy. Why are these executives resigning? Because they know that the feds have all those tapes. And maybe, just perhaps, they are on those tapes. And that all will come out when this goes to trial. When will it go to trial? I predict if it does, two and a half to three years from now. Okay, it's not going to be tomorrow, folks. In the meantime, I believe that they're going to be keeping P. Diddy, Diddy the punk, okay, who destroyed his life. And everybody wants to go out and say, somebody taught him to do this. I don't believe somebody taught him. Okay, maybe he's seen it before. All right, maybe other people were doing it. He did it, and he expanded on it. But I'm going to tell you, P. Diddy, this situation, when they're all finished, is going to be much bigger than the Epstein. Yes, it's going to be much bigger. Now, what's, why will it be bigger? Well, you all seen pictures with Diddy with President Obama. Then you have seen the pictures with Epstein, with President Donald Trump, and President Bill Clinton, and other world dignitaries. Okay? So that's where they come on the same elevation. Okay? So I don't know what, you know, I'm not saying any of them did anything. I want to correct myself. I'm not saying that, okay? So don't get me wrong there, all right? But, and I told you before, there's over 300 subpoenas that the U.S. Attorney has issued, and countless number of people are now coming out of the woodwork and cooperating with the feds back in New York, with the U.S. Attorney giving testimony, there's going to be more indictments, folks. This is a RICO case. It's going to be a bigger RICO case. There's going to be several superseding indictments before they're through. Yeah, Diddy's got a pretty good legal team here. Uh, and they're going to make an awful lot of money, I'll tell you. Diddy's going to be sending checks for a million dollars like it was nothing. Uh, folks record executives resigning. All the people that worked for Diddy, who were there, who seen it, are going to be testifying against him. Will this guy... Now, the other thing I want to tell you, because a lot of comments, you're asking me, will he end up like Epstein did? We all know Epstein did not hang himself in that prison say, where it happens to be the same place where Diddy is. You could bet your boots that the government is not going to allow that to happen again. The BOP would be finished if they did. Okay? So I think that Diddy's going to be in special housing for a very long time very, very long time before they release him in the general population. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. I'm not right all the time, folks. I'm human being just like you are. And folks, once again, okay, and I'm going to tell you every time, all right, my book is available. Just go to my link. You can click to my website. 
and purchase an autographed copy of this book. Every single one of these words written in this book are true. There is not a lie in this book. Not like other books written by rats. It took me a long time to write this book and get it approved from my attorney before I could publish it. And folks, you know, you go to the back of my book, you got my court papers there. You got my indictment, you got my agreements, my motions, everything. I stood up, folks, I went to prison, and I did my time like a man should. So folks, please go buy this book, all right? I would appreciate it. Thank you very much. God bless you all. All my love and respect to you all.